how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim coming to you from the CC Rider on a Friday night, 8.30. Got to get back because I'm old. Got to go to bed by about 11. Heading over to Lido Key, over to St. Armand Circle where I've taken you guys before. We're going to walk around and see if there's any action tonight, uh, any music or anything we can sit around and let's get on down the road here and I'll tune you back in in a minute. All right, everybody, we're downtown Sarasota, uh, getting ready to go over the uh, Ringling Bridge into Lido Key across the Sarasota Bay. Get on over the bridge here in beautiful Sarasota. Tomorrow morning is Saturday. We might come and walk the bridge. I'm on an exercise kick. I might run the bridge. Bring you guys some more video of beautiful blue water and palm trees here in Florida. It's quite dark because uh, the other evening, oh look, there's the uh, lights on the Ringling Bridge. Check it out. They do that. It's very cool. I wish I was underneath the bridge there. I could have shown you. And it's 8.44 p.m. And it is black out there. But we're going into a lit area over here in uh, St. Armand's Circle. And I don't see a lot of traffic, so... I don't know if we'll have anybody out. All right, we got people. We got people. I think parking is free uh, as of 8 p.m. So we're going to scoot over to the other side there and see if we can uh, get over and park. People are jamming in any way they can here at St. Armand's. Oh, yeah. Lots of people, folks. Lots of... These people are parked in here like sardines. I know where some secret parking is, but I'll uh, I'll go around this. Look at this guy. He's checking out his rear of his car out in the middle of the road. Let's go on around. Oh, the Italian restaurant. Uh, Venetia is really uh, booming, Jack. How are we going to get lucky? <laughs> How many people have been circling this already before me? I know where to go, though. Whoa, get out of the road, folks. There's a police right here. He's probably wondering, why are you standing in the road? Come on now, I usually get one right around here. Look at this. That's a pretty good job right there. I think I gave enough room for people in the front and the back. Let's go party. All right, everybody, we are out of the car and this guy up here is parked really weird. And I am right here. I just did the uh, walk away. Mine's got that automatic lock when you walk away. Looks like I got plenty of room here. This guy's just sitting in his van. And here in the middle of St. Armand's Circle, I see there's going to be something going on tomorrow. Back out for you guys. Oh, yeah. We'll see what's going on. Find out what the event is for tomorrow. There's a previous model, model year, Honda Accord, the old generation style. Uh, tenth generation, I have the 11th. Let's get on over here and we'll um, check back some more with you. So you can see it is absolutely crammed with these easy ups now they probably do this every year and there's probably a protocol that you must have easy ups uh, with side curtains obviously to protect whatever you have in there to set out in the morning I'm sure the uh, police are going around here monitoring everything closely but uh, <laughs> if you walk in the middle here if you come here tomorrow you'll have plenty to look at whatever they're going to be selling. All right, we're getting ready to walk through the Venetia, I think it's Venezia is what, how you say it, uh, Italian restaurant here. It's always the most popular spot here on the circle. Get yourself a pizza or some pasta here and some wine. Everybody's having a good time on the inside there. It's a real popular place. Uh, the lady over here that sings in the middle, she's uh, doing her thing again tonight. She's actually pretty good. Walk on down around here, I'll show you what's going on. 
that's kind of the end of the uh, circle down that way. So those stores are all closed at this hour. But look, there's not a parking spot to be had here at St. Armand Circle. Let's walk on over here and uh, check this lady out that sings very nicely. And the Columbia uh, restaurant is also a very popular place. And uh, it looks like it's busy. So this place is a little slow inside right now. I guess they've already hit their uh, rush hour time. Got some nice decorations on this palm tree here. Some nice outside patios for you if you come to uh, Santa Monica. These fans are really uh, putting out some air. So even on a warm evening like that, like tonight, you won't have any problem. Nice place right here. Check that out. This guy must be on break. He plays a little bit. Then right up here you have your um, Starbucks that everybody goes to in the morning time. Famous real estate office, probably does very well. Look at this romantic uh, setting here for dining. This looks pretty good. This one here is called uh, Cafe Europe or something like that. Here we go. Over here is Alvin's Island. You've seen that before, the famous uh, beachwear, stuff like that. We're going to cross over to this other popular little circle here, make our way around. Hello. There's Alvin's Island. It's actually very pleasant tonight. Uh, there's a light breeze. It's not very breezy at all, but it doesn't feel too awfully bad. And we are closer to the water, so that probably helps a little bit. Let's see if I can cross on over the road here without getting hit. Like I say, this Alvin's Island, they've got everything imaginable that you could want uh, to go to the beach or go out at night, all kind of um, beach wear there. Love sunglasses. Used to be a sunglass hut, actually. People in there buying stuff late at night. All kinds of neat little shops here you can go in and out of and check out. This is the uh, Fillmore shops area. Stuff down these side streets here. This next uh, street up here has a few more shops than this little street right here does. Uh, here's the Crab and Fin. Now this is a great restaurant here. I'm sure it's on the pricier side, but uh, great food, I'm sure. The Crab and Fin. More jewelry. Looks like we got something going on over here. We'll go check this out. Another little band or some activity or the kids dancing around or something. Oh, yeah. Got something happening here. Oh, we got a violinist. That's cool. Go, buddy, go. That's pretty cool. So you see this road here has a few more shops that go down, some uh, restaurants, and then uh, this is the famous part of the outside of the circle that goes up to the beach uh, where you have your mini donuts and then um, Ben and Jerry's is up here. Some cool stuff in this window here. Check this out. Look at that boat. It just kind of caught my eye. I mean, if you were into a, a having a big home and had places to put stuff on the wall, some nice stuff right there for you. You ladies that like to do the shopping, there's some nice covers for your bathing suits. 
Uh, here's a, a pretty cool t-shirt shop. Look at that McCass. Uh, look at this, I don't need sex. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, we got some stuff in there to look at. There's your famous Ben and Jerry's. Bring your wallet when you go there for sure. All right, we got a lot of stores that don't care about selling anything after dark. They're closed up. I guess the ones that know which receive business stay open. Here's a cigar uh, humidor. You can go in, smoke yourself a cigar. I never been into it myself. I tried it a couple of times. I had to wear that smoke off my mouth. You couldn't brush your teeth near enough. Now, I've never walked down this way before, but I'm going to. Um, I think I have, actually. And we'll come back down the other side. There's the daiquiri deck across the street. I've got it on fisheye or wide view, so far away things aren't as visible unless I get close. So you'll see everything as we walk by. This is the second real estate office on the circle uh, that I've noticed. There's only a couple. So they got kind of a captured audience. Never seen this before. This must be something new. Uh, bring your youngins. Teenagers love that stuff. You'll find a uh, fudge store and uh, some other places around here, some ice cream. Here's some samples. Somebody's uh, alarm went off, it sounds like. Oh, some beautiful art here, look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at some of the stuff here, this is gorgeous. Look how colorful, huh? The turtles, look at this guy, wow. Some dolphins. Now you gotta remember we're over here on Lido Key, so I'm quite sure that anything that you go in there and get a price on, uh, you may need to uh, get a cosigner. <laughs> oh, here's the uh, fudge shop and ice cream shop. Everybody's out here enjoying themselves. I don't see anybody eating any fudge or ice cream though. We got one right here. Enjoy, well you got a bunch. You got enough for all of us. Here's a restaurant here. It's uh, is it open? Yeah, it's open. I see them in there in the bar. Nice and dark in there. Nice place. I wouldn't mind trying like all of these one time, you know, if somebody wanted to come with me. I don't know about dining alone. I guess I could. I like going in places like that on occasion. So as we cross the road over here and work our way back around to the um, Venezia, uh, Italian pizzeria, see, um, Italian restaurant. We'll take a look in the windows on this side. Pandora. Look at this stuff. Look at this octopus. Certain things catch my eye. I love these turtles, you know? Turtles, look at these fish. It's all about, you know, uh, nautical and beach and seashells and Florida. That's what people come here for. Pretty nice. So you got some more ice cream here. Um, I don't know if that's ice cream or not, it's something. Well, look at this, they have a little, um, wherever it's coming from, lit up on the sidewalk there. Salty semen. Some more tables here. And another hologram. Hologram. We looked at this before. Baklava. Oh boy. Looks pretty good. Look at this. Look at that bar in there of all the stuff. Oh my gosh. These little holograms are pretty neat. Here's some more entertainment getting ready to go on for you. There's all kinds of places to hear some music here on St. Armand Circle. This place right here, got a little sports bar action. Looks cool. And as we come around over there in front of me, uh, to the right is the inner circle of uh, the circle at St. Armand's where all those easy ups are. I can see there's car shows, different events going on. They put a big Christmas tree up every year in there. Uh, St. Armand's has always got something going on. What do we got here, blends? 
spices and teas. Okay, very cool. This place is lit up very nicely. All white, shiny jewelry. Uh, for those that like this kind of stuff, take a gander. Look at the, uh, the nautical stuff there. Again, the turtle, the palm tree, the dolphin. Beautiful uh, stones. Yeah, all kinds of bling, right? Down here, more turtles. I guess the turtles really sell good. Really, really nice. All it takes is money, folks. Money, money, money. Now, as we get down here, this guy is here every weekend. Uh, he plays this, uh, to me, that's one of the hardest things I think that anybody can learn to play. I like looking at shoes. There's some Sperry's. These are females, the ladies, but I'm sure they got men's in there. This guy right here, he, uh, he entertains quite a few people. He's, he's pretty good at it. He's here all the time. How you doing? <laughs> Here's some more ice cream. You only have to walk about a quarter of a way around every quarter and you will find ice cream or fudge or a restaurant. <laughs> and then endless shops to walk in through. So as we make our way around a half a more time to the car, I don't see anything. Uh, everybody's kind of busy right now in the, in the restaurants. We're all sitting over here at the uh, Venezia here. My favorite place is right here. I love this place. So here we go around again, the Columbia, one more time. Maybe something you didn't see the first time, you'll see this time. I love seeing people having a good time at a restaurant. Um, here's a guy playing some music for us. Came off a break. Not bad. You can sit right here and just listen to him. Again, this is one of those romantic looking little restaurants here. I don't know what kind it is, what kind of food they got, but this is the outside again. Uh, near the Starbucks we walked around one time before and saw and over there is all the easy ups in the center of the uh, circle uh, where they'll be having I don't know what it is I'm curious though uh, there you go there's a sign let's walk over and take a look we're gonna be nosy and find out what's going on that's what George Collin used to say when you're approaching the scene of an accident make sure you slow down and see what's going on. <laughs> All right, it's the St. Armand Circle Art Festival. And so artsy fartsy, come on down tomorrow and pick out some pictures. Get your art here. Boy, there's plenty of it. Seems like the prices should be pretty good with that much art available. Everybody's an artist. So, while it was cool, I've seen enough. You know, when the weather gets, I'm a little bit sweaty, when the weather gets a little cooler, I will uh, certainly enjoy coming out here. You can wear some pants or a light sweater. So folks, thanks very much for viewing. Uh, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel. Uh, a lot of viral videos like this one right here will be coming out daily. Uh, we're uh, an eclectic channel here at Sarasota Tim. You don't know what you'll see next, but I guarantee it's always crushing it.